I'm Jack Sifri here. I'm demoing ADS 2015. Basically what I'm showing here, it's a full complete design flow, not only for IC, but the full complete module. So we're talking about the board, the laminate, the ICs all together. And when I say complete, it includes layout versus schematic at the module level and at the IC level. DRC, design rule check, electrothermal simulation for all the ICs and the board level too. So let me show you, this is a sample uh, of a uh, module that has the ICs, digital control, CMOS process, and this is silicon on insulation, uh, tower jazz switch, and this is HBT wind foundry uh, power amplifier uh, sitting on a laminate board. If I show you the, the layout of this whole module, I can push into, for example, the PA, or I can push into it and notice the power amplifier has many devices, it's highly dense in a very small area. And by doing this, the temperature rise between devices and adjacent devices creates some maybe reliability issues or some performance issues. So you want to run electrothermal simulation and make sure that temperature rise meet the reliability specs. And I'll show you the electrothermal simulator in a second. But uh, this is here the IC. And I can go on the tools and, for example, run uh, DRC. And notice here it tells me there is one DRC error. And I can auto zoom on this, select it, and it zooms on that error and highlight it for you. So here's now we're back to the module. And I can go to tools and run DRC. And I can select the laminate now design kit and uh, if, if you want me to show you I can select this line right here and I can change the width of it to 40 for example 40 uh, uh, micron and let me run DRC now just to show you how it catches this error here's I'm doing the laminate run DRC now it will catch that 40 micron because it is less than here the width of that line should be greater than 60 micron but I made it 40 so it caught it that's the DRC check the same thing with LDS now I can go to the tools and run ADS desktop LDS the schematic has 50 components the layout has 50 components they are exactly matched and it gives you the parameter mismatches, nodal mismatches, component count, zero errors. And just to show you, let's say I select this capacitor right on the top, and I wanna delete that capacitor. So now the layout doesn't have the capacitor, but the schematic has that capacitor. So if I go to tools and run ADS desktop LDS again, Notice that it will catch, it will tell you that there is a missing capacitor. Notice here, the component, it's telling you C3, capacitor C3 is missing. It creates some nodal mismatch and it gives you the count 50 to 49. So it catches for you all these errors in this design. And uh, as I mentioned before, with, with smaller modules and smaller ICs and highly densed with components the power will create temperature rise and it could cause a reliability issue if you look here this is the electrothermal simulation of the PA inside the module and notice notice here the temperature rise and and it will tell you if there is any um, high temperature rise for reliability issues and it will display to you also the profile so, this profile here and you can look at every layer in the stack up you can move this and look at the Z the Z direction the temperature in the Z direction so you can just scroll and see how the temperature profile at every layer in the chip so this is the electrothermal simulation Basically, to recap to you, is we have a complete uh, MIMIC RF module design flow, uh, LDS at the module level, DRC at the module level, uh, also at the IC level we have DRC and LDS, I showed you that, 
uh, we have EM circuit co-simulation, which I didn't show you, but the EM uh, is improved in ADS 2015. We have partitioning and EM circuit co-simulation. Um, and the last thing is the electrothermal simulation, which I showed you a demo on this. Uh, I can show you more, but I think I exceeded the time <laughs> limitation. Thank you very much, Kelly.